So you've made inquiries about making insurance applications and you've been told that you'll need to go through and process and you're not sure exactly what this is. In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly what underwriting means when it comes to the insurance companies and the four outcomes that are possible from this underwriting process and how they'll affect you. So today, I just want to jump into the questions. And the first question that I'd like to run through is, what is underwriting? Essentially, underwriting is the process whereby the insurance companies assess the risk of an applicant. And that applicant is typically you if you're applying for insurance. The same way a bank assesses an application for a loan, the insurance company assesses the suitability of you for an insurance policy and the offering of that insurance policy. So the first way that they look at underwriting is from a medical perspective. So medical underwriting involves you answering a whole range of questions. And if you've done this, it can take anywhere from 20 minutes to half an hour to do this backwards and forwards over, over a phone call. And what they're looking for is your previous injuries and illness. And they'll also ask you things about your lifestyle. So whether you smoke, whether you drink lots, what your weight is, all those sort of different things. Um, and what they're trying to do is they're trying to paint a picture of you as an individual and then they're looking to assess that in terms of risk for them in in chance and likelihood of paying a claim um, the other things that they'll look at is any of your pastimes that you do so if you for example were a skydiving instructor on the weekends um, you did scuba diving less all those sort of different things they would uh, essentially affect your ability to get cover. The other thing that can do and a really common one that we get is any overseas travel that you have uh, booked in. Um, for example, a trip to Bali um, needs to be something noted on an insurance application because there can often be an exclusion for that period of time that you're in Bali for war and terrorism if it's not a blanket exclusion applied to the policy already. So really interesting the things that they'll, they'll take into consideration when assessing an application. Now, once the insurance company has this profile painted of the risk that you have uh, to them as an insurance company, they'll come back with one of four decisions. The first decision is that they'll accept it at what they call standard rates or standard terms. That means there's no vari variation to the policy. You pay the premiums as you expected and you move on with the cover there. The next thing that they come back to you with or can come back to you with is is accepting the terms but offering you what they call a loading so they'll charge you more for the same level as level of cover so essentially making it more expensive than what it would have been if you weren't as high a risk the third thing that they can do is offer you the cover but with an exclusion for some of the pre-existing stuff that you might have had in the past so for me i've broken multiple bones i've broken wrist collarbone ankle um, yeah, so not ideal from an insurance perspective. I've also got a bad back and I've had a mental health plan. So um, when they're off assessing uh, applications, they're going to offer the terms to me um, and there might be some variations to what they'd call standard rates in uh, the way of an exclusion. The fourth decision they can come back to you with is the one that we want to try and avoid the most, which is a decline or a defer. Um, a decline means that they're not willing to take on the application based on the risks that you present. Um, a defer means that they need you to go and do a few things before they can make a judgment call on the application. Things that could um, lead to a deferred application are if you've been for a recent visit to the doctor, they've asked you to go for tests and finished doing the follow-up tests. That's the really common way that we get an application deferred. So they're the sort of things that you can look at. They're the four decisions um, that can come back from an underwriting process. And underwriting essentially, as I mentioned, is the, the process by which the insurance company assesses your application and assesses your risk as an applicant. Hey there, it's Biggs. Thanks for checking out the video. If you like these videos and you want to see more, we bring out a new video around the insurance topic every weekday. So hit that subscribe button next to me. Be notified when we release these videos. We love your support. We're here to build the community, community and we want to bring you more videos. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll chat to you soon.